Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 Stimulus Package Map Pack will be available exclusively on Xbox Live on March 30th. I'm Ryan Trite, and I brought my friend, my co-worker, and Modern Warfare 2 guru, Roger Dodger, in for a little bit of a sit-down chat to kind of go through these new maps and see what jumps out at us as fans of Modern Warfare 2. Enough of the intros. Let's jump right into it. Let's talk about these maps. Let's sink our teeth into them. All right, man, sounds good by me. Let's do it. Now, for the stimulus package, there are five maps. We've got Bailout, Salvage, and Storm, which are all brand new. And then there are two classic maps from the original Modern Warfare, Crash and Overgrowth. Now, for this video, we'll go ahead and focus on the three brand new maps and see what they bring to the table. What's interesting about Bailout versus another map like uh, Salvage is I feel like there's almost two separate games happening on a map like Bailout. You have the uh, the inside game, the short range game, and then you have the long distance game, which is kind of on the outside. So I feel like this one actually really does a good job because, uh, you know, a lot of the apartment complexes, a lot of the houses connect. Um, you can almost get through the entire map without stepping foot outside. Out of all the maps that I've played in Modern Warfare 2, this one actually does a really good job with scale. Uh, you know, you feel like you're dwarfed by these giant apartment complexes. Uh, you actually feel like, um, you know, you're in you're in a real city. It actually feels really good. I'll tell you what feels good is, is a Taking little... Taking a dip? Dude, I mean, the pool, I mean, did they have to drain it? I mean, can, I get, can I get a Mai Tai? Can I get, like, a newspaper? Just relax? Taking camp into a, a whole new level. <laughs> take a load off, man. That's all I'm saying. All right, time, my friends, to talk about Salvage, which of the three brand new maps is definitely the smallest. It takes place in a snow-covered junkyard. The one thing when I first jumped into this map, what I was really blown away by was was the atmosphere. Just the grit and the grime. Uh, it really kind of, you know, solidified everything. The second that I actually saw, you know, myself on this map, I actually started to get chilly looking at it. <laughs> well, the other thing that, I mean, aside from the atmosphere that kind of pops up for me is look up. There's no place to go. This is all on one level. This is, this is to me, it's simplicity in and of itself. And, and not in a bad way. I mean, the thing that I notice is that all these little alleyways, all these roads have a very, very narrow focus. Right, and I think this for Modern Warfare 2, it's really going to boil it down to skill versus, you know, map complexity. Um, well, I think, I mean, to me, the way I would describe this map in, in one phrase, every corner is going to be an adventure. As soon as we jump on a storm, the first thing that pops out to me again is that is that atmosphere they created. I think they captured it again uh, in storm. You know what's interesting too is I think you look at this and it does have these really long sight lines, right? But I feel like they've done a good job of allowing you to tactically move through. So the snipers are really going to be picking off all the guys that are kind of in too much of a rush. The guys who are like, ah, I'm just going to go for it, you know, risk be damned, I'm just going to going to take a chance. Those are the guys I feel like are going to get tagged at a really long distance. I think it's going to be really easy to pick up on some of the landmarks, uh, some of the key elements of the map that they wanted you to kind of hone in on or see to, to instantly show you where you are. Because again, I mean, as far as the layout goes, it is a fairly big map. Um, there is some interior, uh, but mostly outerior. Uh, outer <laughs> I like most, that. Out <laughs> no, you know what? Stick with that. Stick with that. Outerior. Mostly outerior, as educated people like to say. There is the big warehouse, though. I think that's... Uh, I mean, there there are a couple of outbuildings that you can kind of get into. They're small, kind of discrete areas. Uh, but your main interior area is this enormous uh, warehouse, and it's got a couple of levels. Yeah, it might very well be the focal point. People might gravitate towards it. Um, it's definitely an interesting place to have uh, kind of a shootout just due to the, the geometry and complexity within that area. All right, well, I think that pretty much wraps up our look at the Modern Warfare 2 Stimulus Package Map Pack. We hope you enjoyed the preview, and I'm fairly sure, I'm, I'm fairly confident that we will be uh, seeing you online. You can look for me. I'll be the one with a little bit of a Ninja Pro, a little scar with a, with a silencer on it, and I'm, I'm fairly certain Roger Dodger will be leaping out of windows with the Commando Pro. No windows for me. I'll be coming out of the doghouse on the salvage yard. Look out. Is that necessary? Oh, very necessary. I mean, could we maybe get on salvage and uh, have a little little sit down, a little talk, maybe a little diplomacy? Not a chance. Right, thanks everyone for watching Inside Xbox.